Hello and welcome. My name is Bhaskar Napte and I am from Pharma Growth Hub. In today's video, we are going to talk about the adjustment of chromatographic conditions according to USP General Chapter 621 that is chromatography. So in this video, we are going to talk about the adjustment in injection volume. In case if you are using the liquid chromatography and using the isocratic elution. So how much the injection volume can be changed according to USP General Chapter 621. The two important points will be discussed in the context of adjustment in the injection volume. And the first one is adjustment in injection volume due to change in column dimension. And the second point is the adjustment in injection volume in absence of change in column dimensions. So if you are making the change in column dimensions, what is the injection volume that you need to adjust? And this is the calculation formula. So let me explain you the terms that has been given into the calculation formula. So V injection one stands for injection volume indicated in the monograph method. V injection two stands for the adjusted injection volume. L1 stands for the length of the column indicated in the monograph. L2 stands for the uh, length of the column. I think here I made a mistake. So I need to make it. Okay. So L2 stands for the column length of the column used means you have used another column and what is the length of that column that is L2. DC1 stands for the particle size indicated in the monograph and DC2 stands for the particle size of the column used. Now let me explain you the calculation of the injection volume with help of very simple example. And here is example onto your screen. So the V injection one means the injection volume indicated in the monograph is actually 20 microliter. Now what is the length of the column? As per the monograph method, it is 250 that is L1. L2 means what? The length of the column that you want to use, you want to propose that is not 250 now, but it's 200 micro, uh, millimeter. DC1 stands for the particle size of the column indicated in the monograph. And DC stands for what? DC2. DC2 stands for what? The particle size of the column that you want to use, that you have proposed, that is 4 micrometer. So substitute the values of all these above factors into the equation and you will find that the V injection 2 means the injection volume of the uh, or the adjusted injection volume with the change in column length and particle size is 10.24 microliter. The important note now this equation may not be applicable to changes from total porous particle columns to superficially porous particle column. The second case, the adjustment in injection volume in absence of change in column dimensions. If you're not changing the column dimension, if you're not changing length, particle size of the column. Now in that case, how much is the adjustment allowed in the injection volume? The injection volume may be varied provided system suitability criteria remain within their established acceptability limits. So the first and foremost point is what you know. The system suitability must not get compromised by the injection volume change. Now when the injection volume is decreased, Special attention is given to limit of detection and repeatability of the peak responses to be determined. We know that the lower injection volume will generate the lower response for the analyte and that lower response 
may compromise your detection limit and because of the low response the injection to injection variability can increase and that will further lead to the failure in repeatability so those points needs to be considered and increase in permitted uh, an increase is permitted i mean increase in injection volume is permitted in particular linearity and resolution of the peaks to be determined remain satisfactory so the moment you increase the injection volume your response is going to get increased and because of that increased response your detector may get saturated and hence the linearity of the detector may get lost so understand the linearity of a detector with the increased injection volume now what is the another parameter that can get compromised that is the resolution as increased injection volume will increase the peak response and hence it will also increase the uh, width of the peak at the base and this increase in the width of the peak at the base will further reduce the resolution of the peak so understand whether the increased injection volume is still giving the acceptable resolution value so i think linearity of the detector and the resolution of the analyte peaks needs to be verified in case if you are proposing increase in the injection value i hope uh, you must have found this uh, video very useful and informative and in case if you want to receive such kind of useful content on to the whatsapp you can join the pharma growth hub whatsapp group now how to join the pharma growth hub whatsapp group you can click the link given in the description and you will join the pharma growth whatsapp group where you will receive all this very useful content uh, when they gets available thank you so much